Again, breaking news here. We continue to follow that field hearing that's happening here in Manhattan. Again, a House Judiciary Committee holding uh, this hearing, and it continues with witness after witness giving their testimony. I want to bring in uh, former Congressman from New York, Peter King, if we can. Uh, also, Joe Pinion, uh, who ran for Senate in New York as well. And just kind of comment on what we've heard so far. Uh, Congressman, I'll start with you. I know you've been listening to some of the testimony, obviously the big testimony from Jose Alba, the bodega uh, clerk. He'll be there uh, and several others. Um, but what do you make of this field hearing? The, the Judiciary Committee making their way to Manhattan to address specifically the DA in Manhattan. Your thoughts, Congressman? Yeah, I think it's absolutely essential. I give Jim Jordan tremendous credit for doing this. This has nothing to do with Republican or Democrat. The fact is New York led the way over a 20-year period in bringing crime down to record levels. Down, it's just, uh, again, an incredible uh, decrease in crime under uh, uh, Giuliani and Bloomberg and uh, under the NYPD. Since de Blasio came in, and now we have Albert Bragg as DA, crime has gone up. I know they talk about murder going down in the last year. The fact is it's still up well over what it was three and four years ago. Other violent crimes are up 40 and 50 percent. New York is not the city it was just several years ago. And I uh, blame almost all of that on Albert Bragg. The NYPD does the best job it can. They do a great job. Their commissioner is outstanding, Keyshawn Sewell. But as far as Bragg, from day one, he's made it clear that his main priority was not stopping crime, but somehow making it easier for criminal defendants. So now this hearing is absolutely essential. And what we've heard from the witness testimony as we've listened throughout this hour is that people do not feel safe in their city. And, Joe, I think about these politicians who've made their way to New York. You know, they're protected, right, on Capitol Hill. They've got police right. who are there to protect them and make sure they are safe. But the average New Yorker does not experience that. Now, yes, NYPD is there. But just getting day to day, there's a concern about safety. Well, look, I think that to deny the reality that New Yorkers feel less safe today than they did when Alvin Bragg was sworn into office uh, is effectively just ignoring reality. I think that if you look at what Democrats are trying to turn this hearing into, they're trying to shift this into, uh, why aren't we talking about the massive gun violence all across this country. And so I think the optics are everything, right, that we'll be talking about Alabama and that tragedy that happened probably later today. But we ignore the fact that we had 32 people uh, that were shot and wounded in Chicago, eight of whom lost their life. Uh, and as you bring that to New York and that focus, yes, they're talking about the gun violence, but ignoring the fact that you cannot curb gun violence if you don't have prosecutors that actually enforce the laws against guns on the books. And Alvin Bragg consistently fails to do that. So so, yes, we do have an illegal corridor, an iron corridor of guns that are end up in the hands of criminals. But the criminals walk free. The laws that are supposed to deter the criminals are not enforced. And in the end, everyday citizens are the ones who are paying the price. And all Democrats want to do is find new ways to take guns out of the hands of law-abiding citizens who are not the problem that we're trying to address. It's so difficult also to, to get uh, guns in New York legally, I wanted to point out. So, again, uh, something to note there. Congressman King, thank you very much for joining us today. And, of course, thank Joe you. for weighing in, too. Appreciate it. Of course.